Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Friday morning, happy Friday. Time as I make this is 4.17 a.m. Welcome to September, first day of September. Uh, it is the uh, beginning of the Labor Day holiday weekend. It is the first day of meteorological fall. Uh, what else? It is football eve. Uh, the thousands of Alabamians will be tailgating tomorrow at various places like Auburn and Tuscaloosa and many other locations. A lot of home games this weekend in the state of Alabama. So all of that is great, plus it's uh, payday. Uh, <laughs> but uh, the radar will be colorful and active today. I think you could, uh, most of you would agree we, ne we need some rain. Uh, so that's the way the Labor Day weekend will start because of a non-tropical low pressure system moving along the Gulf Coast. So you could argue maybe a 70% chance of rain probability here in the Montgomery area and 90% by the time you get down on the coast. Unfortunately, it is not an ideal coastal forecast for the next few days. Rain chances running very high again Sunday, not quite as high on, uh, uh, very high tomorrow Saturday, not quite as high on Sunday and Monday, but still not an ideal beach forecast for the next few days. But for a lot of us, it's a pretty good forecast. You know, the rain chances are sky high today and this evening, but I think uh, widely scattered storms perhaps tomorrow. Rain chances relatively reasonable and uh, temperatures will be in the 80s today and tomorrow. And then uh, by the time we get into Sunday and Labor Day Monday, I've got us dry. A dry forecast temperatures may be 90 to 92 both of those days and still dry Tuesday and Wednesday. And the other thing is nothing tropical for us to worry about. Oh, it's busy in the tropics. There are three named storms and uh, that one of them, of course, was Adelia. The, the remnants of Adelia is out there and you got Franklin and you got a new one, a new system called Jose. And the chances that we're going to be adding to it, it's just all busy in the central Atlantic, but nothing that's going to be impacting the United States. And by the way, also below, learn, learn about the Fujiwara effect. Uh, people that always ask me, well, what if those storms combined and became one superstorm? That can't happen. That's impossible. Uh, and uh, read about the Fujiwara effect, how one storm uh, profits at the expense of another one when they get too close together. That's the, the way that works. All right. So this morning, everything is normal, including live on the radio, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 WACV. There will be another update for you tomorrow morning. It's called the Weekend Update. And, uh, and that comes out way before dawn, plus your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. Oh boy, it's September now and football is returning and uh, college game day will be on ESPN tomorrow morning while I'm eating breakfast. Have a great Labor Day weekend. I'll talk to you later. Our free weather app will be your best friend today with uh, radar, future radar, instant push notifications for severe weather alerts, access to all of my blog updates and videos, uh, hourly forecast, 10 day forecast, and a whole lot more. Uh, plus it travels well. If you're going to be on the road, going to football, various football games, uh, it knows where you are and it's going to give you the weather for that location as well. It's free in the app store. Search Rich Thomas Weather, powered by the folks at IBM. Rich.